Hello friends, so in this video I am going to discuss the advantages of digital signal processing over analog signal processing. So, your first advantage is of DSP is flexibility. Digital signal processing systems are flexible as compared to analog signal processing system. Basically, DSP system can be reconfigured for some other operation by simply changing the software program. You can simply change your software program to configure to change your uh, digital system. But this is not possible in analog system because there is no software program. So that's why digital signal processing system are flexible because you can easily change it or reconfigure it for some other operation by just changing the software program. For example, the high pass digital filter can be changed to a low pass digital filter by simply changing the software. Like no changes in the hardware are required, only changing the software of low pass filter, of high pass filter to a low pass filter will change, will change it. Whereas in analog system, change is not easily possible. An analog system which is performing as high pass filter is to be totally replaced to get low pass filter operation. Okay, so your second point is accuracy. Digital signal processing systems are more accurate than your ASP systems. Basically, ASP analog signal processing system, these systems suffer from component tolerance, their breakdown, etc. problems. Hence, it is difficult to attain high accuracy in analog systems. Whereas the accuracy of DSP system is decided by resolution of your analog to digital converter or number of bits to represent the digital data etc. So that's why and these factors like the number of bits uh, that you need to represent digital data they can be controlled in DSP to get high accuracy. But you cannot control the component tolerance or breakdown. That is a problem that is there in analog system. Okay, so I hope you understood these two advantages of DSP. First one is flexibility. Digital signal processing systems are flexible because they can be reconfigured for some other operation simply by changing the software program which is not possible in analog system. In analog system, the component has to be replaced. And digital signal processing systems are more accurate. Why they are accurate? Because there is no problem like tolerance or breakdown which is there in analog system. And also the accuracy depends on the number of bits that are used to represent digital data and these can be controlled in DSP to get high accuracy. Now your third advantage is easy storage. You know that the digital signals can be easily stored on the storage media like magnetic tapes, disk, etc. Whereas stored analog signals, they get deteriorated as time progresses and they cannot be recovered in their original form. You can easily store your digital signals in media, storage medias like magnetic disk tape. But this is not possible for analog signal because these stored analog signals, they won't, they will get deteriorated. They won't be in their original form after, as time progresses. So the third advantage of DSP over ASP is easy storage. Digital signals can be easily stored. Fourth, you can say mathematical processing
so mathematical operations can be accurately performed on digital signals compared to analog signals hence mathematical signal processing algorithm can be routinely implemented on digital signal processing system whereas such algorithms are difficult to implement on analog system fine mathematical operations you can easily perform them on digital signals hence they can be easily implemented on dsp system in analog signals mathematical operations cannot be easily performed and hence the mathematical signal processing algorithm are difficult to implement on analog signals now your fifth advantage you can say is cost dsp systems are cheaper than ASP systems basically digital processing of a signal facilitates the sharing of a single processor among a number of signals by using time sharing basically a single processor is shared among number of signals by time sharing so this reduces the processing cost per signal sixth advantage is repeatability see the processing of signal in digital signal processing system is completely digital hence the performance of the system is exactly repeatable for example the low pass filtering operation performed by digital filter today will be exactly same even after 10 years fine like the performance will be same even after 10 15 20 years because it is completely digital hence the performance of this system is exactly repeatable but in analog system the performance will deteriorate because of noise effect and life of component next advantage you can say is adaptability you know the digital signal processing systems are easily upgradable since they are software controlled but such easy upgradation is not possible in analog systems eighth you can say size and reliability the dsp systems are small in size more reliable and less expensive compared to analog systems so these many advantages are enough actually first is flexibility you know your digital signals are more flexible because they can be reconfigured for some other operation by simply changing your software program accuracy your digital signal your digital signals are more accurate because the accuracy depends on resolution of analog to digital converter number of bits to represent digital data and these factors can be easily controlled to get high accuracy easy storage digital signals are easier to store in storage media such as magnetic tape this etc whereas store analog signals deteriorate over time and they cannot be recovered in their original mathematical processing mathematical operations are always easier on digit, digital signal as compared to analog signal hence mathematical signal processing algorithms are implemented on dsp system more easily whereas in analog system cost dsp system cost uh, lesser than asp system because it sharing of single processor among a number of signals by time sharing this reduces the processing cost per signal then repeatability you can exactly repeat the performance of dsp system as they are completely digital they will remain same even after 10 years or so but uh, asp system will be affected by noise and the life of the component will reduce adaptability they are easily uh, digital signal processing systems are easily upgradable since they are software control but such easy upgradation is not possible in analog system and size and reliability basically these hsp system are small in size more reliable and less exp- expensive also 
there are few more advantages like digital implementation of a system allow easy adjustment of the processor characteristics during processing so you can say easy adjustment of processing characteristics is possible if implemented digitally also linear phase characteristics can be achieved only with digital filter and multi rate processing is possible only in digital domain linear phase characteristics and multi rate processing linear phase characteristic and multi rate processing basically linear phase characteristics is phase response is a linear function of frequency that can be achieved only with digital filter and multi rate processing is also only possible in digital domain multi rate processing in, uh, in multi rate you have multiple sampling rates this we will study in later videos and then digital circuits can be connected in cascade without any loading problem so there is no loading problem when you connect digital signals in cascade whereas this cannot be easily done with analog circuits and another advantage you can say that for processing very low frequency signals analog circuits require inductors and capacitors of very large size whereas dsp is more suited for such type of application so dsp can process very low frequency signals whereas for uh, analog circuits it requires inductors and capacitors of very large size so these were the advantages of dsp system over asp system i hope you like this video and you understood what i tried explaining and if you like this video and you want more such videos then please subscribe to my channel like share and comment thank you